Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about, show you how to put together a view for Mahara. Okay, first of all, let's click on My Portfolio. Let's click on, sorry, let's go to Create View and click on that. You'll notice down here that we have one, two, three columns. I'm using Firefox so that you can actually remove these columns by clicking remove. If you're using Internet Explorer, you'll have to go through change my view layout. Okay, I think I'll just go with two columns for this one, so I'll click remove. Nice, okay, so I've just got two columns now. Now I want to change the, the layout of those columns, so I'll go up to change my view layout. I can have them equal width, so just watch they are now. I can have larger on the left or larger on the right. Hmm. Oh, I think I might go for larger on the right. Click change my view layout. Okay. Alrighty. Now let me see. Let's um I might start off with uh, my profile information on the left hand side because that's the small one. So I click profile. I can put my contact information, my friends, my groups, my views, or profile information. Hmm. Okay, well, let's play around with that. I'll put profile. So I'll drag this down. Try and drag it down. Hang on. Drag it down into here and let it go. Okay. So I'll scroll up and you can see that it asks me the things that I want in there. So last name, yes. No, country I suppose, introduction, no not really, uh, first name, yes, city where I come from, official website address, yep, blog address, yeah, maybe my mobile phone, my occupation, industry, my business phone, I don't have a student ID, um, my preferred name, yeah, I guess that's important, um, my postal address, my town, and my Skype username. Okay, now I can choose those icons that I put in in the profile side. Remember I did put the profile icon in which is the picture of me or the fire pit. I think I like the fire pit for this one. And I can include my email address so I'll do that. I can put some introduction in there but I actually don't think I'll bother. So I'll go click and save. And if we scroll down here you can see there's my lovely fire pit and the detail, my details down there. All right. Okay, so what I've got to do is look at what I'm going to put over here on the right hand side. So I think I might start off with a text box. Text boxes are probably the most useful um, thing in Mahara in terms of setting up your view. So I'll grab that, drag it across, put it in there and let it go. Bingo, it says block title. I might call this um, an introduction. Okay, and I can put an introduction there. All right. Now, I can actually link to any of the words in there just by highlighting them and clicking the link page. So I might put, oh, I think I'll just put the CQU address in there. Um, and Generally, what I suggest what people do is when they're actually opening an external website to theirs, to actually open that in a new window. It allows the actual the site to be opened in a new window and saves any copyright confusion. As for a title, yeah, okay, CQU link. And click insert. Okay, we now actually have a, a, a link in there. Now one of the really nice things that you can do with it, this, you can see here that you've only got bold italics and a bit of justification stuff, so there's not much in there, but you can click on this box here, and this allows you to edit and put other things in. For example, you can put an image in, you can put a smiley face, and a whole range of functionality that you'd normally find in things like Word. Um, I might just put a smiley face in, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, so that'll do me. Okay, now to get out of that you just click the red button here that, and that closes it down and saves it into the other one. 
we go back down here and we click save and now what we have is the right hand the left hand side has the profile information and this one has the introduction and we can continue to add under that we'll actually do that in the next tutorial and that's it for now goodbye